Hello, and welcome to Backseat Drawing Workshops. I'm Eric. And I'm Josh. We're going to be continuing our series of videos where we're drawing a background. A background. A background. It's Today not we're... like a back. It's also a ground. It, yeah, you're, you're actually right here. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. What we're going to be focusing on today is actually creating the middle ground elements here in our forest. We did focus on our first episode creating the tree, and our second episode creating all of these background elements here that are behind our two trees that are in the middle ground. But right now we need to create more textures and uh, elements that are going to go between these trees that are kind of further in the background and these trees that are closer to the foreground. Oh, cool. So one of the first things I'm going to do is if you were watching the last one, you'll notice that I've been using this canopy brush right here. We're going to do that again. So I'm going to take that canopy brush, and I'm actually going to take a pretty dark color here. Let's go with uh, this very, very dark green. And I want to kind of create a section here where there is this dark green color. Actually, this layer here needs to be above these further away trees. It's between the two. So let's go ahead and hit this right here with a little bit of that. And go to the other side, and we'll do just a little bit of that on the others. Um, now, why why is it there? Why what are just, these trees? I just want to make sure that I create some sort of like height difference. So right now, I have kind of the shrubs that are at this level, and some of the shrubs that are at this level. I kind of want to create an illusion that there's 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 kind of leaves at more than just those two levels. So I just kind of hit this side. I think that that will create a nice little focus area here in the center. The next thing okay. I want to do is make sure that these actually have a little bit of color. So I'm going to hit it with a little bit of that brown again. I really like that color combination. Yep. It's got that brown green going. Brown, dark green. It's like, it's just really good. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of lighter color. I'm selecting from the background right here. I want to like make, I want to decorate a house with those colors. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of an interior of a, uh, like a Panera bread. Oh, <laughs> I love Panera bread. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. All right. I'm pretty satisfied. Kind of has a little bit of layers in here. The, the brush is very good for creating uh, pockets of, of texture, but they are behind these trees but before these trees, so they do need to perceive just a little bit of that blur that we were using in our last episode. So we're going back to Gaussian Blur here. But I don't want them to be as far away. So I'm going to knock this down just a bit, and you can see here, if I commit to it, I'm going to zoom in and I'll show you the difference now, in that these trees in the background are very, very far away, so they're very blurred. And these trees in the foreground have not received any blur, whereas these brush here, the, uh, the foliage I just made, is kind of between the two. So that kind of just makes it look like there's just something happening and there's distance between these trees and these trees here. What I'm going to do now is create a new layer. I'm going to go ahead and create a clipping mask between the two. I'm going to go back to my big airbrush and I'm going to grab a little bit of this yellow because what I need to do now is make sure that the edges of these get a little bit of light. So I'm going to go ahead and change that blend mode to overlay. And I'm going to make just a little bit of touch and pass on the tops here and I'm going to take maybe a dark kind of purpley color just to make sure that the bottoms of these leaves uh, maybe about right here gets a little bit of that disappearo color in there now if I flip this back and forth you can see that what it's done is added just a little bit of a, an orange to bluish purple gradient hmm I think I liked it better before but this seems more realistic no oh. Well, the nice thing about having this on a separate layer is they can kind of go halfway between. If that looks better, it kind of does a little bit of a compromise. <laughs> oh. So let's go oh. ahead and do it between there. Okay. All right. Now, the other thing we need to do is right now, these trees in the very background, they just kind of disappear right there into the ground. So what we're going to have to do is create something that kind of makes them attach. So I'm going to make a new layer that is above those trees in the background, but, uh, but behind these foreground trees. Again, the same kind of thing that we're doing here. And now I'm going to kind of go down to, uh, again, we're going to hit some of these other kind of brushes. I like using either this brush or this brush for some of the shrubs on the bottom, but I'm going to use this one now. 
I'm going to go ahead and pick a darker green color just to see what I'm going to be working with here. Actually, what I, you think? I think I, what I'm going to do now is actually create. See how there's this blue line here? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and pull that layer behind even these background trees. And I'm going to work on kind of masking that. It's still there. It's underneath the that this line that you're making. Yes. <laughs> but I will make it disappear. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is pick a green, like a lighter green. Now remember, this is one of the furthest away layers. So it doesn't really matter what it's going to look like when it's crisp. It only matters what it looks like when it is in blur. So I'm going to just kind of put a little bit of yellow, put a little bit of green in there. Hit those edges a little bit so there's a bit of a division between that big shrub back there and this one that I'm creating now. I'm going to go back up to Gaussian Blur. And we need those to go really far back there, so I'm going to knock them way back. Now, without that, you can see now there's a bit of that blue haze that's going there, and with them, it kind of masks that a bit. Okay, but the, that blue haze is still there. Yeah, and so we're about to cover it up. Ooh, cool. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a layer below that layer. We're going to go back to our brush, the big airbrush. We're going to grab a little bit of this color that's kind of the darker color in what we just created. We're going to go down just a little bit, and we're going to just ghost that out. Right? And then I'm going to just make sure it comes back up just a little bit, because that's where we're going to put our grass. OK, so now without that, what you're seeing is this. Okay, it is definitely gone now. <laughs> so now we basically have a kind of a, a division point between those big elements in the background and our stage for our grass here. I'm pretty satisfied with that look, except right here, I think I want to create a little bit more division in the, the lighting. So I'm going to create a new layer above that, that shrub layer. With this big airbrush, I'm going to take a, a nice yellow color, go back down to the blend mode and overlay. And just kind of knock a little bit of yellow into there. Just so that it looks like something's happening, lighting-wise. And I think I want to take that purple color again. I'm going to add just a little bit of color texture to the edges, just so that it looks like the center has a little bit more focus. And then without that, this is what it's done. So you just see it's kind of created a little bit of a 3D look to it. Hmm. All right, I'm pretty satisfied with everything that's happening behind these trees. So I'm going to take all three of those layers and just commit them. Now we're going to go back. Originally we were going to work on the middle ground elements that kind of connect these trees to the ground. So let's go back to that. I'm going to create a new layer. This is between this trees and this tree. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a little bit of shrub and, and brush and grass. You can imagine between these trees and these trees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush right here. It's like kind of a I don't know, how would you describe that shape? Uh, like an eagle's head? Um, that looks like a senpu fan from the country of Japan. Okay, so we're going to take our little fan brush. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I increase the size here, I'll show you what it does. It kind of creates this scatter texture. It just makes that same brush pattern, except it scatters it around. It just keeps... That was a very light pressure. If I go a little harder, you can really see how what it's doing here. And I'll go ahead and zoom in. Just basically takes that and makes a little bumpy pattern throughout. That so, could be like a road. Like a yellow brick road? Yeah, they're bricks and they're <laughs> yellow and they're cobble-ish. <laughs> well, we're going to put that road back here. So I want to reduce the size of that brush just a bit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick colors kind of between here because I don't like that that's totally smooth. So what I'm going to do is, actually a little smaller, I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of texture. And I, again, I'm color selecting by holding that Alt or Option on my, on my keyboard. And I'm just kind of picking between the two colors. All right, I think in the middle here, I want it to be a little brighter, just because I think that the uh, lighting is spilling in in the middle section here. Now I know this looks really sloppy, but it doesn't matter because what we're going to do now is we're going to go back up to filter. We're going to go to blur, Gaussian blur. And we're going to take that into the background quite a bit. 
So let's drop it down to maybe about right here. Now, 9.1 is pretty, it's a pretty soft blur, but what it's done is it's basically just turned it into a, a texture instead of like uh, little patterns. Can't really focus on anything in particular, which is what I want. I mean, I, I kind of see though the brush stroke still. And that's okay, because we are going to be going back here and adding a little bit more. What I really want to do now is lay the foundation for more detail work. Cool. Yeah. So I'm still seeing a little parts where I'm not happy with the way that it's interacting with the trees. And this is what we're going to do now. We're going to create a new layer. And we're going to just basically take some of these shrub brushes. So, for example, this little leafy pattern right here, 151. You can kind of take that, maybe like a middle of the ground textures like this. I'm going to just kind of touch up where the trees are in little sections here. I'm going to take a darker color, move them around. And let's go back to our canopy maker, 250. And we're going to just take that and create like some shrubs. Well, what's the difference between these, these two brushes? Uh, well, this one is the one that creates a pattern like... Um, like when well, it's it big. seems like one is that denser or well this one definitely has more jaggedy edges versus okay. the leaf brush which is a little more detail specific as you can see it's really like a leaf oh i see yeah go back to this uh canopy maker here yeah just touch it up a little bit here and there just to make sure i get a little bit of the illusion that there are some shrubs on the ground and we're going to go back up we'll go back to filter Blur, Gaussian Blur, and those are also going to be slightly in the background, about the same as we did for that grass. All right, let's take those two layers, commit them together. As you can see now, we have a little bit of texture and, and form to the area between those two sets of trees. And I'm pretty satisfied with what they look like at this point, but I want to create a lighting spot right here. I'm still very focused that this right here is the center of our canvas, our composition and our subject would probably be about right here. So I'm going to make a new layer. Go ahead and make that clipping mask again. Go down to overlay. I'm going to go back to my big airbrush. Pick a yellowy color again. And that's going to hit right there and create a little spotlight right where the sun is spilling in. I'm going to take a nice blue, maybe from the tree here, maybe from right here actually, and kind of fade the edges out again. Now without that, you can see what it's done is it just created a little center focus right there in the center. All right, I'm pretty happy with everything right there. So I'm actually going to take everything that is behind these two trees, these two oh right God, here, no. and <gasps> they're merged. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> the bravery, the audacity. What if so, you needed to move a tree? Nah, I, I don't live in the past. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right carry on then okay so that's it for this tutorial in our next tutorial what we're going to talk about is all the stuff down here all the stuff that's in focus the grass all the little details that we need to be working on just to bring the uh the background towards us so that the viewer seems like if the the subject is sitting here that it's sitting somewhere where the viewer can see it Ooh, yeah sounds fun it is but until then we'll see you on the next episode Smell you later.